Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Judge Juan Mershon, the judge in the alleged hush money payments to Stormy Daniels case. He's got a major issue on his hands. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Now, you guys expect me to say things that are beneficial to Trump in this case, this ridiculous nonsense case. But what you may not expect is somebody on MSNBC saying, this is basically a novel case. It's, it, it, this is a new kind of case. It, it's such a mishmash and hodgepodge paper mache version of a case that they have cobbled together to attempt to create a crime where one doesn't exist, that the judge now has to craft unique jury instructions Jury instructions that have not stood the test of time. Jury instructions that have not stood on appeal in, in previous cases. He has the duty to craft these particular jury instructions that are probably going to be appealed if, if there's a conviction. I predict there's not going to be a conviction. I predict a hung jury. A, a, an acquittal would be unbelievable. But I predict a hung jury. Now, with that being said, to listen to an MSNBC analyst say it, that's on another level of insanity as far as I'm concerned. These people, of course, MSNBC, no fans of Donald Trump. But when reality starts to set in, for them, for you, for me, for everybody, when reality starts to set in about what's going on, it's kind of unavoidable. Let's take a look at this. All right, the judge's instructions to the jury ahead of, uh, of their deliberations. This I'm, I'm keyed in on. What goes into them, and why are they so important to how the jury considers its verdict in each case? Right, so it's the judge's job, as Judge Mershon told the, ju the um, lawyers last week. He's the one who gets to tell the jury what the law that they will use in evaluating the evidences. And you can understand why that's important. He's the one who will explain to jurors what the burden of proof means and, and what sort of evidence they would need to find proof beyond a reasonable doubt. He will uh, explain to them the substantive details of New York law and, for instance, what it means for Donald Trump to have caused a record to have been made that's false. So the way judges do this in virtually all jurisdictions, New York State Court is one of them, is that there are pattern jury instructions that committees of the courts create across a period of time with instructions that have been affirmed over and over again by courts of appeals, meaning that they are good statements of the law. And we'll see the judge rely on those to the extent that he can. But some of the charging here is novel. This is, I think, the first case. If not the first, it's a rare case where the business records falsification crime is charged in connection with a campaign finance violation, and the judge will have to craft some unusual jury instructions. So there will be a lot of art that goes into that in negotiation with the parties.